Good morning, remote learners. This is Ms. Studer with your Red Fox Report. You can see I've been kind of on a tracking theme this week. That's because there's perfect tracking snow. You can't pass up those opportunities. And look right here. You can see going right out of my right out of my view there. You can see there's this lovely trail here. It's not very big. It's uh, it's only about well, I'd say it's about ten inches long. Let's see. Yep, about 10 inches long. It's only about two inches wide, nine, two and a half maybe. The feet are small. Oh yeah, that's like one and a quarter by, oh uh, yeah, like maybe one and a three quarters. So this is a pretty small animal. It has exactly the same pattern in its feet and in its trail that we saw earlier. Do you remember what family that was? Yeah, that's the weasel family. This is one of our smaller weasels here. This is um, a short tail weasel. No, sorry, the short tail weasel is the small one. This is a long tail weasel. Every once in a while, you'll see a tail plop in here. Uh, there's one back there that's real good, but I couldn't get the camera to stand up back there. So. These little weasels, so we have several weasels here. We have the short tail weasel, which turns white in the winter and is called an ermine. We have the long tail weasel, which also turns white in the winter. It's not called anything special. A little bit bigger, a lot of crossover between mink and long tail weasel. I really had to puzzle this out. Was this a mink or a long tail weasel? Because it could be either one. But I had a good tail plot back there. Um, which, and the way it's moving through the forest makes me think this is more long tail weasel than mink. But I could be wrong. Always open to that. And you can see it did that bound all the way through the forest. Now, I just started following this. I picked this up up there. I was very excited because, the, you know, you get those little feet with the five toes in the front, the five toes in the back, and you're in the weasel family. That's exciting because they're very secretive. They don't, they don't really show themselves much. I haven't seen many weasels, though I see their prints and their sign often. I know there's lots of them, but they're very secretive, and they, you don't get to see them very often. Now, one of the interesting things about the long tail weasel and the ermine is that they turn white in the winter. So, of course, when Europeans got a load of that, they just all wanted ermine coats. And like um, most people can't tell the difference between an ermine and a long tail weasel once you've got them skinned. So there are a whole lot of those ermine coats out there that are made out of a whole lot of long tail weasels. But the other thing is, it's like, you know, an ermine... It's like this big. Can you imagine how many of them it would take to make a coat? Good Lord. It would take thousands to make a coat. I don't know. Just something to think about. I just think we make coats out of the weirdest things. Personally, I'm really a fond of that heavy Gore-Tex textured material filled with down. That's my favorite. So I'm going to follow this weasel. I don't know where it will lead me. I'm way the heck out in the woods, so I kind of got to start heading home. But it, it's actually going the same direction I need to go. What? What a coincidence. So the long tail weasel and the mink teach us to really pay attention when we're tracking. Or at least they've taught me to really pay attention when I'm tracking. Because I'm still open to the possibility that this is a mink even though I feel pretty certain it's a long tail weasel. But I'm gonna follow it out and see what I find. Its behavior will reveal more of what it is. So be looking for these bounding patterns, be looking at the number of toes and the feet. Those are the things that help you identify tracks because if there's four in the front and five in the back, you're in the rodent family. But if there's five and five, you're probably in the weasel family. So anyway, I hope you had a good week. I certainly have had a ball out here finding these tracks. Uh, probably do a little bit more tracking today. And i um, looking forward to next week. And I hope you all had a great week of remote learning. I'm Ms. Studer with your Red Fox Report.